delicious coffee here. Salam alaikum, YouTube. How y'all ninjas doing? Good to see you again. It's your guy, Harry. And for a uh, disclaimer, yes, I am aware that my comments do not reflect everybody else's opinions here on the Mad Mamelukes podcast. Uh, and yes, it is not masterpiece theater, but I, I'm going to do my best to give y'all a masterpiece of video. Anywho, yes, I saw y'all's comments on a previous video we did here in the Good old YouTube comment section. Apparently, I am not allowed to say the word ninjas as a white man. And uh, my response to that is, uh, black people have been calling me the N-word, the actual N-word, from the time I was a young boy in middle school and beyond. And it was either because they wanted to be my friend or because they wanted to fight me. And uh, I am aware that as a person of Caucasian persuasion, of vanilla flavor, that I am not allowed to say such a word, because there actually are some very legitimate historical grievances that black folk have in this country. And that is why I use the word ninjas instead. And if that offends you, well, for some of you, I understand your point and I take it. And for others of you, I don't really care because not a day gum thing that I do is going to change your mind. You just do not like me because I am white. And, well, you're just going to have to deal with that. Anyways, uh, sorry, I'm white. I'll never do it again. But before we apologize too much here, we're going to chit chat today about Sneeko. Sneeko, 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 Sneeko. Sneeko, he uh, said something recently about the only thing that's going to save America is a return to Christian Taliban. And I understand where he's coming from. And because Sneeko is a new revert, like I was five years ago, I understand where Sneeko is coming from. You see, people like Sneeko and I are people who are kind of like, we're trying to get into the zeitgeist of the moment. I'm a zeitgeist kind of person. I don't have the following that Sneeko has by any means. You should follow me on X, Mr. Harry198. But, nevertheless, I, like Sneeko, am a person who tries to go right for the zeitgeist, the zeitgeist, how do you pronounce it? Anyway, of the situation that we find ourselves in. And the simple fact of the matter is that a Christian Taliban will not save America, Brother Sneeko. And I understand we say that. You know, you're going... Sneeko, you're, you're, I understand, you're still kind of holding on to some old ideas. And some people say, well, he's not a real Muslim or he's just a grifter. No, listen, I think Sneeko, because I was there myself, and I'm not a grifter. I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a grifter. Uh, I think it's hard to let go of some cherished ideas. It takes some time. It's old habits die hard. In some sense, it's also cognitive dissonance that's why for a lot of new muslims in america and the west it is hard to let go of christmas because it's like well it's not really about the birth of prophet isa peace be upon him it's really because of stuff you did with your family and growing up and getting that favorite hot wheels car you always wanted or that new barbie it's a lot of deep personal joyful memories hard to let that go but anyway, I digress. No, Brother Sneeko, I respectfully understand where you're coming from, but I disagree. I'll tell you why. Because actually, Christianity has failed America. If Christianity was working so well for America, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in, Brother Sneeko. And actually, what would possibly save America would be a moderate form of Islam and by moderate, I mean normative Islam, not ISIS. Not the most extreme forms of the Taliban. Not moderate as in liberalized and reformed into something that isn't really Islam. Why do I say that? Oh, and by the way, it wasn't me that said that. The person who said it first was none other than Mike Cernovich, you can go look that up. Mike Cernovich actually said that a moderate form of Islam 
would be what is required to save America. Not the Christian Taliban. You know, the Christian Taliban had its time and its place, Brother Sneeko, but it was nonetheless not successful because, see, Sneeko, and I understand where you're coming from. You know, you were on that stream with Brother Hijab recently and you said that, man, what? Really, it would be better to be Muslim and gay than a polytheist Trinitarian who's not gay? Well, you know, think about Sneeko. Why is Christianity failing in America and the West? Why does it have the retention numbers that it once had? You know, I used to live in Buffalo, New York, and I just read that uh, in Buffalo, St. Mary's Cathedral, this beautiful, beautiful old Catholic church, prime realty in Buffalo, New York. They're shutting down their doors. They're selling off their assets. Why? Well, because nobody wants to show up anymore. We don't believe in it. And that's not because Catholicism doesn't have some validity, doesn't have anything to offer. Catholicism has a rich tradition of all kinds of deep and profound and beautiful spiritual insights. But Catholicism also is corrupted by the idea of the Trinity and the idea that Jesus, upon whom be peace, is actually God incarnate. And what you see that this is not true, as you and I both did, Brother Sneeko, you know, it's, there's no going back. Can't really fix that problem. Now, I understand you want to work with the America First people like Mr. Fuentes and the Vincent James. And, you know, I'm pretty sympathetical with a lot of their ideas, too, amigo. But somebody in the comment section is going to be like, oh, Harry said the word amigo. And he's just saying that because Sneeko is also Latino. How racist. I'm sorry, but Espanol is actually a white man's language. Espanol. España. Spain. Sorry. I'm going to say amigo anyways. <clears throat> anyways, Sneeko, I get it. You want to work with these people. I want to work with them too. We have some common interests here or there. But at the end of the day, Islam is the thing that could fix America. What is America in the year 2024? Well, let me tell you, buddy. America in the year 2024 is the Roman Empire 2.0. And just as Christianity came into the Roman Empire and changed it for the better in many ways, Byzantium that survived the fall of the Western Roman Empire was a more humane place, we'll put it that way. So too is Islam entering into America right now as we speak, my brother, man. It is. 110%. The Roman Empire, they scattered the Jews to the winds, scattered the early Christians to the winds, and then these people entered into the Roman Empire with their ideas. Sometimes it was Roman legionnaires who came back and gave testimony. Sometimes it was people in the Roman Colosseum getting martyred and eaten by the lions that brought people to Christianity and the Roman Empire of old. Not much different, by the way, than the stories we're seeing of people taking their shahada. Why? Because alhamdulillah, the martyrdom of the people in places like Gaza. And we just had a few episodes ago, Brother Richard McKinney, our beloved Muslim brother. Richard McKinney and I both got blown up overseas. And then alhamdulillah, Allah Almighty brought us to Islam. Isn't that a miracle? It is. This is exactly what happened to the ancient Roman legionnaires. This is exactly what happened to the people who witnessed the martyrdom of the early Christians. It's the same thing. Allah Almighty is doing the same playbook here. We see it. That's a wonderful thing. And that is why, Sneeko, Allah gave Islam to people like you and Brother Tate, even though you... Myself, we're all imperfect vessels, right? He gave it to you because you are an influencer and we're watching your incredible journey as a new Muslim in real time. But I'm going to give you this polite warning, brother. You do not have to capitulate to Christianity to work with Christians. Hope that makes sense. We have something better to offer them. They are closest to us in spirit, 
and we have a better option for them. And alhamdulillah, inshallah, I believe, I truly believe this, and Brother Daniel Hakikachu has said this himself, I truly believe, I genuinely believe that we can make America a Muslim country. We really can. Not by conquest, not by forced conversions, not by mass migration and outbreeding everybody, by genuine, sincere Dawah programs like you and I and everybody else are giving at whatever level we're giving. It doesn't matter whether you're a small channel like this one or a big channel like yours, but it can be done. Inshallah, alhamdulillah. So, brother, don't take it as a personal slight. Just take it as a friendly reminder. Jazakallah here. Y'all take care now. Bye-bye.